for being here and welcome to Strawberry Crest High School Baseball's 13th Senior Night. First off, we would like to say congratulations to all our seniors and their families. The accomplishment of contributing to Strawberry Crest as a student athlete and the sacrifice that comes along with this is worth being recognized and celebrated. Your presence as part of our school and our baseball program is valued by your coaches and teammates and you will be missed but not forgotten. We will begin by recognizing the first of our 10 seniors. First, we would like to recognize number one, Adrian Vo. Adrian is being escorted by his parents, Hai and Suong Vo, and his sister, Victoria. Adrian has played varsity baseball for Strawberry Crest for two years. He's worked hard at his craft as the catcher. His team and coaches appreciate his consistent positive presence and attitude he brings daily. We have never seen Adrian have a bad day. Adrian plans to serve his country in the U.S. Army after he graduates. Adrian's parents have a message. Adrian, your mom and I have been watching you play the game you fell in love with as a little boy. We still remember you as a little boy who couldn't tie his own shoe before the game. To us, it seems like only yesterday that a boy stood where there is now a man where our little boy once stood. I'll miss you, Bo. Good luck found. to you. We know this game has helped you become you. who you are today. Thank you for letting me come The friendships in. and bonds you have made while playing as, are okay. such a big part of you and your wife. From all the friends you have, uh, from all the friends you've had here at Crest, to the coaches, parents, and all the extended family, your mom and I say thank you. Over the years, you have brought so many gloves, bats, friends, and even dirt into our home. When you finally hang up your cleats for good, we want to we want you to know we will miss all of these things, even the dirt. They are a reminder to us of great times and friends. You have grown to be a good young man. Baseball has been such a big part of that. Keep up the good work and be a responsible son. Your mom and I are so very proud of you, and we love you so much. Go so have a message for our parents, teammates, and coaches. Mom, Dad, and Victoria. Thank you for the support and sacrifices you all have made for me so that I can be in this position I am today. All the time and money you guys have spoiled on me, spoiled on me making me food because I did, don't know how to use the stove to washing my dirty uniforms because I didn't know how to use the washer. I am forever thankful. Dad, thank you for making me the man I am today. I'll never forget those car rides home after games where you talked about my financial plans when I was 12. Mom, I'll never forget your smile in the stands when you watched me play and how excited you always were for me. Victoria, you have done so much for me and took the role as my second mom. You guys have always been there for me and I'm great, greatly blessed to have you all. I don't say much, but I love you, Mom. I love you, Dad. I love you, Victoria. Foe's message to his players and teammates. Coaches, Thank you for not only making me a better baseball player, but a better human being. I'll always remember, remember those legacy lessons and turd talks at the start of each school year. I would also like to say thank you for letting me back into this Crest family and placing your trust in me. Y'all have done a great job bringing this team together and creating a family, which has led to our success over the past few years. Love you coaches. To my brothers, I wouldn't have asked for another teammate for any other teammates, and want to thank you for making my high school experience memorable. We have all grown so much mentally and physically since freshman year, from grinding in the weight room to putting in extra work to perfect our craft. What makes our class so special is we aren't just teammates, but brothers, and that will always have a special place in my heart. You guys have always been there for me, and I'll always be there for you. Love every single one of you boys. Bo, all of us at Strawberry Crest would like to thank you for your contributions to our school and program. You have represented your family and school in a great way, and we appreciate what you've done and who you are. Thank you for choosing to serve your country as you leave us at Crest. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for senior Adrian Bo. Next, we want to recognize number two, Ray Allen Vasquez. Ray Allen is being escorted by his parents, Horatio and Eva, and his brother, Ruben, who
who is a freshman playing for Crest. Ray Allen is graduating with a 4.1 GPA and plans to attend HCC and then transfer to FAMU. Ray Allen has been our starting second baseman for three years and has been consistent as has been a consistent second baseman as you could ever ask for. He has never had a fielding percentage under 900, 950 with our Defensive Player of the Year last year. He's been, consistent, been a consistent hitter, right. plus at speed. Thank you, brother. Eva and Horatio are the best of three. Ray Allen, it's unbelievable to ask our time to slow by. It feels like yesterday when you picked up your hat and put on a helmet for the first time. Even back here, you could tell you love the game of baseball, and it hasn't stopped. This baseball journey of yours has taken our family on an incredible ride throughout the years. As it's coming to an end of your high school time, know that our love and support will, will never waver as you embark on the next chapter. We have loved every morning game, road trip, win, loss, all day at the field, and dare I say it, beautiful laundry. These are the memories we will cherish forever. Enjoy the rest of the season to the fullest, and even though you're a Yankees fan, know your dad still loves you, LOL. All of our love, Popsissy, Mamasi, and Ruben. Ruben now has a message to his parents, teammates, and coaches. First off, I'd like to thank all of my teammates I've played with here. I've made some long-lasting relationships throughout my time at Crest, and I'm grateful for it. I'd also like to thank all of my coaches I've ever had since I was a little kid, and they've taught me important lessons about the game and, more importantly, life. Throughout, throughout my time, there's been highs and lows, and Coach Beatty was always there to talk to and always made sure I was in a good place and off, to, off at the field. I'd finally like to thank my parents for spark, uh, sparking my love for baseball. I wouldn't be here without you guys, providing me with countless posts and pre-game meals, rides to games, sitting in the stands, no matter the weather, buying me equipment, and most importantly, showing support. For all the younger guys in the program, keep working hard and don't get discouraged by failure and learn to grow from it. For all of the seniors, thank you guys for making these past four years the best of my life. I've, I'm always going to love you guys. Ray Allen, thank you for your commitment and sacrifice to Strawberry Press School and the baseball team. You've been reliable, punctual, and a consistent performer. You're also consistently a good teammate over the past four years. We are proud to have you represent us as an alumnus after you graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Ray Allen Vasquez, number two. We now want to recognize number three, Eli Vickers. Eli is being escorted by his dad, Adrian Vickers, and his stepmom, Tiffany Jones. Elijah is an IB student and in the National Honor Society. He is graduating with a 5.9 GPA and plans to study business at UCF or at Baylor. Eli has been a three-year starter for us at Crest. He has started in the outfield, third base, second base, shortstop, and recently made his first career start on the mound in the Saladino tournament, where he earned his first career win as a pitcher. Eli is a competitive, ready player that can play anywhere. But most importantly, Eli is among the most consistent presence and leader we have ever had in our program. He brings a perfect presence and work ethic daily and has the utmost respect for his teammates, coaches, and faculty. Eli's parents have a message for Eli. We are so proud of you and cannot wait to see all of, the, all of your accomplishments in the next chapter of your life. All of your hard work and perseverance has led you, to, led you and us to this proud moment. Son, never forget that we love you and that life is filled with hard times and good times. Learn from everything and be the person we know you can be. Keep up the hard work and remember, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. We love you. Now, Eli has a message for his teammates. First, I would like to thank, say thank you to, to my parents. I am beyond thankful for all of the early mornings, late nights, and endless support that you have given me. Your unwavering commitment to my success has, gone, has not gone unnoticed. Always being there and encouraging me, even when I wasn't uh, playing my best, to my dad. You have helped me to 
develop a deep love and passion for this game. You have taught me things that go beyond the game of baseball and apply to life, teaching me to never want to be an average and give up uh, sorry, teaching me to never want to be average and giving up all, no matter what I'm doing, what I'm doing. Thankful for making me, thank you for making me the man I am today. Next, I would like to give thanks to my teammates. We have worked hard and come a long way since our freshman year. This hard work will pay off in the end when we make the states. Oh the memories we have made together, <laughs> up and on the field, will stick with me forever. I would not trade you guys for anything, and I have greatly enjoyed playing with you guys. To the underclassmen, I leave you with this. Keep grinding as you guys have potential to be great, and this is just the start of something amazing. Lastly, I would like to thank my coaches. Thank you for pushing me to my best, for instilling in me a, a love of the game, and for always believing in me. Your guidance and support has been un invaluable and I am grateful for everything you have done for me, leaving this program not only better, a better ball player, but a better person. Eli, you are one of the greatest leaders our program has ever had. No matter what you, no matter what you do in the future, we know you strive to be the best you can, and you will make the people around you better. You have contributed in every win we have had over the last three years, but we thank you most for your leadership and consistent presence. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Give it up for number three, Eli Pickers. Yeah. Our next senior, senior we would like to recognize is number six, Luke Richardson. Luke is being escorted by his parents, Carrie and Kate, and his brother, Nolan. Luke has been on the varsity, varsity team at Crest for four years. His career record is 15-4 with a 2.0 ERA and has 113 strikeouts. Luke is a winner in every sense of the word. He is graduating with a 6.8 GPA. He is in our IB program and is part of the National Honor Society. Luke is in our Good luck, Luke. Good luck to you. Luke will be attending the Honors Thank College you. at Auburn University and will pursue a career in engineering. Luke's Love parents have a message to him. The moment you took them out at age nine, we were all set on an incredible path of witnessing your talent unfold before our eyes. It has been another spectacular nine years of triumphs, heartaches, laughter, and nail-biting moments with you on that bump. Thank you for choosing the game of baseball and giving us the gift of unforgettable life experiences and friendships. As you begin your next chapter in life, may the Lord continue to guide you and protect your actions and decisions. We want to publicly pro proclaim how extremely proud we are of you, War Eagle. Luke has a message for his parents, mom and dad. No combination of words or objects could come close to the love I have for you. Thank you for always pushing me to be the best Luke I can be. Without you by my side, I would be lost in both life and baseball. I am especially thankful for the support even after tough losses. I would have probably punched a couple of trees by now had you not done the same when you were in high school, Dad. And Mom, I will always love hearing the, let's go, Luke, from the crowd. <laughs> it's being one of those few things I do hear when I'm pitching. I hope that someday you'll be able to say, Let's go for my kids when they play baseball. I also know that I also do not know how I would have, would have done the IB without your emotional support. Although you might have not completely understood what topic of the fifth 4,000 word essay was about, you still allowed me to talk my ideas with you and fueled me with the best snacks I could ever ask. I also want to thank the best brother in the world for helping me define my competitive spirit. Although we might fight, the drive to be the best each other has made facing the best hitters seem easy. I love you all and will miss you in college. Love, Luke. Luke now has a message for his coaches and teammates. First, I want to thank all the coaches for grinding me for my four years here at Crest. And, the tr and in the transition to adulthood. The impact of my life is matched by few 
and has made high school the most fun and enriching years of my life. Thank you all for the sacrifices that you made for us, coming directly from work, missing the big game, and even sometimes waking up early to watch us run. I want to especially thank Coach Beatty for the leadership and passion he has brought to every game, practice, and event. Without you, this, this prestigious Strawberry Crest Baseball program and all of the accomplishments would cease to exist. I do not believe other coaches would take the time time out of his nights to throw with an injured freshman during the winter to personally make sure his arm healed properly. Without your support, I do not know if I would have had the desire to return to baseball, or at least it would have been tremendously harder and I would not have become a better pitcher out of it. I also want to thank Coach Marsh for helping me become a leader on the team. Having gone through the program yourself, your experience made of the conflicts that occur both on and off the field. I am blessed to call you a friend who guided me through the problems I faced. I also want to thank you for introducing me to one of the cutest and goofiest dogs. Last but not least, my seniors, my best friends, my frustrating nut jobs, my bubbas. As I write this paragraph through tears, I have realized the profound love I have for you all. It is only by the grace of God that we have ended up together. I would like to say, I would like to say to you all, uh, this, sorry, I would like to say you all are the small bit of normalcy in my life, but I could not describe any of that, any of you as normal. Your love for the game is not normal. Your love for each other is not normal. Most of the times just plain weird. Your love for winning isn't normal. Your love for every aspect of life is not normal. However, when combined, it creates the perfect group of people to laugh, cry, complain, and celebrate with. Four years of IB did not teach me the quote, mathematical model or random bit of strange knowledge that describes the unbreakable bond we have formed with each other. The only bond comparable to ours releases the energy of 50 billion tons of dynamic when broken. I love you all and cannot wait to see where you guys go with your lives. Luke, you have been the leader of our pit, uh, leader or, sorry, Luke, you have been the leader of or pitching staff, a leader on our team and a leader in our schools since you stepped on campus your freshman year. Watching you grow into the player and person you are has been rewarding. Your pitching stats speak for themselves. You have been a winner for us on the field, but most importantly, the decisions you make on a daily basis and your maturity will make you a winner in life, and we cannot wait to watch you accomplish great things. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for number six, Luke Richardson. Next, we want to recognize number seven, Jace Rayburn. Jace is being escorted by his parents, Johnny and Heather Rayburn. Jace is a three-year varsity letterman. He was voted by his peers to be the most likely to be late to graduation for senior notables. Of course, we all disagree in the fullest extent for, with this nomination. Jace t plans to attend Harvard University to get his mathematical and developmental biology in embryology degree. On a serious note, Jace has narrowed down opportunities for them Florida Harvard guy. that will align with his personal mission, visions, and values. Miss you. Johnny and Heather have a message for Jace. Mom, did you Their years of being just crazy baseball parents are coming to a We have watched you learn so much about life through the years. You have learned about teamwork, perseverance, and adversity. We have traveled hundreds of miles, slept in countless hotels, seen way too many baseball fields to count, but nothing will ever amount to the memories and quality time we've got to spend together. Always recall all of the friendships and bonds made with teammates and know all the fun and laughter we shared on the trips meant the world to us. This high school season, we want to carry want you to carry with you pride from the athlete, athlete you are. Pride from the countless hours, the sweat, tears, determination that you have put in over the years. Thank you. 
over the years to be the most amazing baseball player you are. Please remember that baseball doesn't define you, uh, define who you are, but rather is a part of who you are in your story. Finish your story strong by playing this season harder than ever before <laughs> and hug your teammates like no one is watching. Bring back that gritty feeling you had before the game, before every game, and feel it again. Love this sport more than you ever have. 12 plus years of baseball is an experience that is part of our lives as much as it is part of yours. The past, the last time we watched you walk off the field this season will be just as bittersweet to you as it is to us. As tears continue to roll down our faces, please know that we are proud of you and take away from this letter behind you all of your memories, before you all of your dreams, around you all who deeply love you, and within you all you need. Jace has a message to his parents. Words cannot express, words cannot begin to express how grateful I am for the sacrifices you both have made throughout my baseball career. From the first ground ball to my final weeks of playing the game, you two have always been there for me. I know I don't say thank you nearly as much as I should, but your unconditional support and love has made this possible for me to play this great game until the very end. Mom, thank you for always being a positive force in my life and teaching me that, to have a good that having a good attitude is crucial to success. Your warm love and encouragement has shaped me for the better. Thank you for reinforcing to me that academics are just as important as, as athletics and that one cannot exist without the other. Thank you for being the role model and validating that hard work and determination will pay off in the end. The courage and drive you have in everything you do has given me the courage to pursue my own dreams. I will always cherish the time spent together outside playing blitz ball and catch. Dad, thank you for buying me my first love and teaching me how to play the game the right way. Thank you for coaching every chance you got. I can always count on you to push me beyond my limits. I'm still working on this, but know that I hear you on the need to focus on the next play and never give up instead of dwelling on the previous one. Thank you for teaching me that I am entitled to nothing in this world and that everything must be first earned. I cherish all the memories made together throughout my baseball career. To my teammates, as many hilarious times as we've had, we also have had some pretty serious times. We are able to be there for one another when the going gets tough. You all understand that sometimes I just need a good scolding and then I will be back to normal. We can listen to each other's problems and give advice, teammate to teammate, friend to friend. Thank you to a four-year friend who turned into my best friend, Zach Redner. I appreciate you pushing me to always be at and play my best. There is no greater feeling than playing the great game of baseball with the people that you love. With each game, we learn lessons at, about athletics and life. Looking forward, to, looking forward to all of us staying connected and continuing to grow together. To our coaches, thank you for always pushing us to be the best we can. Thank you for coming up with difficult drills while mixing in some fun. Thank you for giving us your time to make sure this team experiences, experiences success. Thank you for your dedication and efforts to make our senior year memorable. To the parents and grandparents in the stands, I don't think we thank you enough. Thank you for believing in us when we didn't believe in ourselves. Thank you for cheering louder than anyone in the crowd. Thank you for running for ice Gatorade, Advil, and giving countless massages. And most importantly, thank you for loving us, even when we make it nearly impossible. So again, thank you to everyone who has made this an unforgettable baseball career for me and, and, and an incredible run at Strawberry Crest High School. Jace, for the last four years and beyond, you've given it your all. You've left it on the field and have played as hard as you could play. We appreciate the work ethic you've had brought you have brought to each and every game. You seem to always find a way on bases, and once you're on base, you've made the opposing pitchers lives miserable. You've given us four years of hard work, passion, and laughter. 
thank you. We appreciate and love you. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for number seven, Jace Raver. Now, we would like to recognize number 10, Damian Bennett. Damian is being escorted by his father, Damian Bennett, Aunt Lori, Tara Suggs, and sister Kaylee. Damian is a four-year letterman and a three-year starting catcher. He is graduating with a 3.4 GPA and plans on getting certified as a peer medic and joining the fire academy. Damian has been a consistent, as consistent of a catcher as you could have in a high school program. Damian has been our guy for three years and has sacrificed by playing through injury, sickness, and many other stressful situations to put our team in positions to win. He has successfully led our great pitching I miss staff you, dumbass. and has thrown out Thank you. Thank you for putting up with us. Uh, not a problem. He's why I'm here. Thank you. Sir, appreciate it. Damien's parents have a message for Thank you very much, Coach. Feeling deep friends for Damien. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you to say I'm I am proud is an understatement. Thank you for all the memories we have created in the last 14 years of your of this beautiful game. It seems like yesterday I was tying your shoes and getting you ready for your first T-ball game with the South Brandon A's, and now here we are on your senior night. I can't believe how fast this time has gone. I will miss our car rides home after games, where I would always give my fatherly advice that. You couldn't wait to hear. I will miss our summers of travel ball at the hotel stays and our attempt to go to any and every twin peaks we could find. There's an old saying that goes, some people wait for their entire lives to meet their favorite player. Well, I was lucky enough to raise mine. Finally, I would like to thank Coach Beatty and the rest of the coaching staff. Thank you for the countless hours you have spent with these boys. There is no doubt that my son will be leaving this school a better person because of your program and endless dedication on and off the field. And for that, I am forever grateful. Damien has a message for his parents and teammates. First off, I would like to thank my parents for everything they have done for me on and off the field. Pops, I want to especially thank you for the long car rides, late nights, early mornings, and all the good times we've had. You were the one to introduce me to baseball, and I couldn't thank you enough. You've helped me become the man I am today. Next, I would like to say thank you to my family for all the support you've shown me over the years. There is no one I would rather have supporting me. I would also like to thank my coaches for the past four years who stayed by my side through the rough times on and off the field. They not only cared for me as a player, but also as a person. <coughs> That will stick with me my whole life. To the underclassmen, always work hard and never let failure set you back. To the seniors, I want to say these past four years have been a ride I can't imagine a better group to be with. I have made lifelong friends in this group and will cherish all of, all of you. We've talked about this season since we were in middle school and I, I am excited to see the outcome. I love each and every one of you, and I know you will do great things in your lives. Love, DB. Damien, when people around the county think of Strawberry Crest Baseball, I am sure an image of you behind the plate pops in their heads. You've been, you've given great sacrifice and commitment to our program, and we appreciate every bit of it. We cannot wait to see you join your father's foursome in the years to come as you guys continue to provide great humor and laughter to everyone that attends our famous golf tournament every year. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for number 10, Damian Bennett. Dad, where was your speech? Now, we would like to introduce number 14, Zach Redner. Zach is being escorted by his parents, Michael and Danielle Redner, and his brother, Chase. Zach is a four-year varsity letterman he holds a single season record for most strikeouts in Strawberry Crest history. He's earned the 2022 Team MVP and was the 2021 Western Conference Honorable Mention 
and 2022's first team Western Conference. Zach wins to attend HCC football scholarship as long as the board wants to. After baseball, Zach is going to career. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I miss you. You're going to miss me. Yeah, I will miss you. Thank you, Donald. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. You may or may not believe it, but I miss the heck out of you. To have you in our life. You know it. And what a joy to call you our son. We love your sweet giggles, the joy you have when you're holding the ball, the calm you have when you're out fishing, and the simple pleasure you find just being outside in the dirt. From birth, it was obvious baseball was in your future. The only thing that would calm you down was an old baseball game recording. You named your favorite stuffed animal Raymond after the Rays mascot, and instead of sleeping with a stuffed animal, you would sleep with the baseball club. I should have known this was the life we would love. Your love and passion has given us years of travel ball and a lifetime of memories. Mom will always treasure the adventures taken on outside baseball tournaments and the time we got to spend together. All the time spent coaching and training you over the years, Dad says, is priceless. First Corinthians 6.13, be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. We are so excited to see what the future brings and what and the way God needs your life. We all love you more than you'll ever know and are so proud of the young man you are becoming. Zach has a message for his parents and teammates. I would like to thank my parents, grandparents, coaches, and friends for helping me along this journey. I couldn't have done it without them. I have made so many memories over the years, and I will always remember them for the rest of my life. So I have learned, learned and grown so much thanks to my coaches and friends. Thank you to Coach Beatty, Steve, Bernie, Johnny, and Johnny for making me along the way, for helping me along the way these past four years. Y'all have helped me so much, and, I've always, and I will always remember you. And of course, shout out to my teammates for always being there for me. We have had a lot of ups and downs these past four years, but we stuck together and found a way to still have fun. But most importantly, I would like to thank my parents for always being there for me. Oh, well. they, had, they had stuck by my side in the sport for the over 10 years. Thank you so much for your support. Oh, I'm excited short. to continue my yeah, academic and athletic career at HCC next year. That's not good. Zach? You have pitched and hit and played first base in some of our biggest games in the program history. You've brought us consistently good performances, and we have seen you grow as a player and grow as a human. We appreciate your sacrifices and commitment to our school and our program, and we are excited to watch you continue your play at HCC in the years to come. Thank you for choosing Strawberry Crest High School to um, and the baseball program. Ladies and gentlemen, please get it up for number 14, Zach Redner. We would also like to take this time to recognize and honor Danielle Redner as she has taken over the responsibility of being our team mom the past two seasons. She has spent many hours double-checking my dates, emails, and info, running golf tournaments, concession duty, handling communication, and bringing great energy to our program and communication. We appreciate you and Mike for all you have done to lead the area done to lead that area of our program. Thank you, Danielle, Mike, and Chase. Woo! Now we would like to introduce number 15, Cooper McDonald. Cooper is being escorted by his parents, Andy and Jean McDonald. Cooper is an honor graduate and a member of our National Honor Society. National Technical Honor Society and Future Farmers of America. Cooper is graduating with a 5.4 GPA wow. and he plans to attend Hillsborough Community Ooh. College to finish an associate's degree before transferring to University of Florida. Cool. Good luck to you, son. To obtain a degree yeah, in buddy. agronomy. Love you, bro. Cooper has Good played luck. varsity Good baseball for three luck. years luck, as a pitcher. Thanks, Cooper bro. has utmost respect for his teammates and coaches for the role he has played and the positiv positivity he has brought to our field every day. Cooper's mom and dad would like to say this to Cooper. 
These past, these last 18 years have been the best years of our lives. We've experienced a lot of baseball together, from team ball to little league to travel ball and now high school baseball. While baseball doesn't define you as a person, it along with so many other things has helped shape you into the amazing man you have become. Your work ethic, your passion for others, and most importantly, your faith in God have really was no right done right. the rest. As parents, we are so proud of you and cannot wait to see the next chapter of your life brings. We love you so much, Mom and Dad. Thanks, brother. Cooper's message to his parents and teammates. First off, I'd like to, I'd like to thank my coaches for four year, for the four years I've been had the privilege i having Coach Beatty and his staff. I've been standing out here for a while. <laughs> always help me. I'm sorry. Always tried to help make me better, not only on the field but off the field too. I would like to thank from thank for always caring about me and my teammates, like they would their own kids. We win together, we lose together, like family, and we couldn't do it without our coaches. Second, I would like to thank my teammates for four years. For the four years, we have been a family. Some since transferred away, but we still have our 10 seniors that we have all mostly played together since we were freshmen. We have grown into a brotherhood, and I'm happy to say we will be lifelong friends. I would also like to thank my parents for always being my number one supporter and for always taking me to tournaments and spending money to help me play the game I love. <coughs> love you guys, and thanks for everything you do to make me the better person that I am. Being a part of this team has been a huge part of my life, and I cannot see, I, can, I can't wait to see where we finish in May. Chargers country, let's ride. Cooper, thank you for your sacrifice and presence you have provided to our school and our program. We appreciate the man you've grown to become and the effort you put into the to be the best baseball player you could be. We should commit to buying whatever strawberries come from the, your farm in the future because they will be the best berries in the world. We have no doubt. Thank you, Cooper. We are the better pe we are the better people because you are here. Ladies and gentlemen, number 15, Cooper McDonald. <laughs> Second to last, but certainly not least, we'd like to recognize number 18, Arjun Namala. Arjun is being escorted by his parents, Balu and Nibiru, and his brother, Akil. Arjun will be graduating out of our IB program with a 6.4 GPA and plans to attend FSU on a baseball scholarship, but also How wants to play baseball, baseball at the highest level See, possible. Know, Arjun is a four-year varsity player and has been one of the most feared hitters I better get a in the county from you. since his oh, sophomore oh, season. Here. Let's go. His ability to hit or power, <laughs> you know, you select good pitches, 6. and that's each it? day oh. effort oh, and dedication man. to Take his career has oh, led well, him to be a great player. Congratulations, man. 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 But you made us happiest. You made us the happiest people we were when you were born. From the time you took your first steps to this day, it's been an exciting journey. And we couldn't ask for more. Congrats, There are many times you've made us proud. Congratulations, buddy. Being it your academic achievements or baseball accomplishments, we enjoyed every one of it and look forward to many more. You are a loving son and a good brother. But above all, you are a great human being with good values. This is what makes us more proud of you, and this is what defines you. Always be who you are. Whenever path, whatever path you choose in life, just know mom and dad are here for you always. We are your biggest fans. Keep working hard and achieve your dreams. you keep in love with your mom and dad. Arjun has a message for his parents and teammates. Mom and dad, you've been at every step of my journey. Congrats. From being one to the last one here at Crest. You are always there. I am filled with so many emotions and the love and support that you've given me. Congrats. From being from the beginning. You have been my biggest cheerleaders, encouraging me to pursue my dreams at every step of the way. 
All the money and time spent during baseball season is something I cannot thank you enough for. You taught me the importance of hard work and dedication and instilled values in me I will not forget. I appreciate all of the sacrifices you have made and the love that you have, have shown me. As I grow up, I will, sure, I will surely miss the fun times, but hopefully we can make more and more as we go. You set the foundation for me and I am grateful for everything you have given me. Thank you for your unwavering love and support and I will always be grateful Maybe for you. Right now. Coaches, as I stand here today, today as a senior, I want to express my gratitude for each and every yeah, one of you. For my four years here at Crest, you guys have been instru instrumental in shaping me into the player and person I am today. I cannot thank you enough for all that you have done for me. Throughout my time on this team, you have challenged me and pushed me to work harder and to always strive to be the best. I remember when Coach Beatty said I was being too nice on the field, and I was thinking to myself, how could that possibly be that? <laughs> All these memories have been valuable. Have been a valuable part of my experience at Crest, and I am very grateful for all the support. As I as I prepare to move on to the next chapter of my life, I want you to know I will carry with you, carry with me everything that you have taught me. I will continue to push myself to improve, and all will always remember I am respond, representing Strawberry Crest baseball. So thank you guys for everything you have done. I will always remember my time here as a Charger. To my teammates, I cannot help but feel nostalgic reflecting upon my time with all of you. I want to thank you, I want to thank every one of you for making this experience unforgettable. From freshmen to seniors, we've all grown up and been there for each other every step of the way. I will always remember the games and jokes we play on each other, then getting locked in for the games. We have faced many challenges and successes, but through it all, it was always fun. I want you guys to know that our bond is like family, and I will cherish all the memories we have shared together. Arjun, your attention to detail and your relentless dedication to mastering your craft and your work ethic have put you in a position for a bright future in this sport. Those great attributes combined with your person, with the person you are, and the do-right mentality you possess will make you achieve whatever you want to. We will follow you in your baseball career to the end, and we appreciate your leadership and sacrifice to lead Strawberry Crest, leaving Strawberry Crest High School and the baseball program in a better place than you found it. Ladies and gentlemen, number 18, Arjun Namala. Next, and certainly not least, especially in inches from the ground. Number 19, Alex Philpot. Philly is being escorted by Cindy Owens, his Nana, Margie Owens, his Mimi, and Chad Jordan. Philly is a two-year varsity letterman for Strawberry Crest, but a four-year varsity letterman in total. He has been a top pitcher in our county to and has a home run and uh, had a home run that put us ahead of Noosa last season got the win in the district championship for Bloomingdale last season. Philly plans to attend the University of Florida on a baseball scholarship. Cindy and Chad have a message for Oh man, you take care of yourself. You Alex need something, you call. It has been a real ride being the chosen one to raise you. It has been like riding an iron, the iron rod quasi. All lots of highs, a lot of lows, and boy, has there been a lot of sharp turns. But we made it. We are so proud of you. We are so proud of who you have become. You are an amazing young man with a heart of gold. The kindness and respect you show to others is the love of your for life that God has put in your heart. I have no fear that you will go to your next destiny and strive to be the best because we are fighters, competitive. You are loved more than you know by so many people but you will always be my little d <laughs> Alex, so very proud of you. The Jordans are so blessed to have you in our lives. Your heart is so huge, always willing to help others, even in the hard times. Overcoming adversity is a very strong trait you have had at your age. Continue working hard. Pray about it. Practice it. Play it. 
Sure. Billy also has a message for his family and teammates. I want to start by thanking Cynthia, Grandma, Mom, and everything in one that Guardian could be. Thank you for all the great times we have had while I've been playing baseball. From you sleeping in the fields to you giving the boys gestures. Thank you. Thank you for putting everything in to make me the kid I am today. I want to also thank Mimi. You always put that great smile on my face and give me confidence when I hear you yell at me from the crowd. And to Chad, the real rad dad, thank you for stepping into my life when you did. The father figure every kid could ask for. Whether it's a serious time or we're laughing, joking around, it's always a great time. You have helped me through everything within the last eight years year, old. and I really oh thank God. you for that. And to my boys on this team, I love you all. My brothers through this game we love and all the super exciting times we've had together. For From the car rides to on the field and in school, I know I will always have good friends for life. And finally, my coaches, thank you for always taking me under your taking me in under y'all's wings these past two years. I couldn't have asked for a better coaching staff to play for. You guys have taught me everything from being a great ball player to teaching me the ways of life. I am so thankful for Strawberry Crest Baseball and will always cherish these memories for the rest of my life. And I want to finish my speech with asking a very special person a question. McKenna Jordan... Will you go to prom with me? <laughs> I can't see, but I'm hoping she's saying yes. Oh, I got a thumbs up. She said yes. Okay. Two years later. Billy, we are thankful and blessed to have you in our program for two years. You have pitched, played first, and have played every outfield position. But more than that, you have been a great role model an example of how to fight through adversity and show up day after day, no matter what life might throw it, might have in store for you. Anyone paying attention can learn a lot from you on battling through adversity and continuing to move forward. We appreciate you, Alex, and we'll follow you as you move on in your baseball life. Ladies and gentlemen, number 19, Alex Philpott. Our program and coaches has been, have been blessed with a brilliant group of people and ball players. The players and their families appreciate the players and their families are appreciated by their teammates and coaches. They have all impacted our program for the better in a number of different ways. Coach Beatty would like to say, parents, thank you for entrusting me with your kids. I am a better person and we are a better program due to each other representing here, represented here. Seniors, our underclassmen have no choice but to continue where you left off. I am proud to be a part of the legacy they have left. Thank you for coming to Strawberry Crest. Thank you for playing our, with our baseball team. One of our greatest expressions in coaching is when you come back to visit. I'm sorry, one of our greatest experiences in coaching is when you come back to visit. So you better not be a stranger. Keep grinding in baseball and in life. I love you guys, and I am proud of you. This concludes our recognition and celebration of our class of 2023 Strawberry Crest High School Series.